Okay guys, so this is going to be just a simple tutorial on how to use some Canva.com design features that you may not know about yet if you have just recently discovered this website. So first of all, this is your main dashboard and from here you can create posts using custom dimensions or using preset design types. Anywhere from social media posts to any type of document, ebook, marketing materials, email headers, events. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go with a social media post. Once you have chosen the post type you want to create, you can choose between a layout that Canva.com provides or you can start from scratch with your own post. The layouts Canva provides are either free or paid. And you can tell this because the free layouts have a specific sign in the bottom right corner. For this video, I'm just going to create a post from scratch, and this is the chance for me to show you the first tip, and that is using free photos. Of course, it is always best that you use your own photos, meaning that you have taken those photos, or that you have created some graphics, or you can always buy stock photos, but for personal usage, Canva offers some free photos. Usually they are stock photos, but there is a large variety of photos from which you can choose. Also, you can search for those photos that you want. And don't worry if the first photos appear to be paid, because if you scroll down, you will find some free photos as well. And I'm just going to choose this one for now. And I'm going to make it fit. Since we are talking about photos, you must know that you can filter and edit photos directly from Canva.com. For this, you select the picture and you choose Filter. Now you can choose from any of the given filters. Or you can adjust the image's appearance using advanced options, such as intensity, brightness, contrast, saturation, if you want more color, or less color, tint, blur, and so on. You should know that you can also upload your own images for free. And here I have uploaded some stock images myself. Another thing that you can do with Canva.com is texturize or add transparency to the photo that you have chosen for your post. For this, you can either choose another photo or choose a shape, place it over the photo, change its color, and then go to Arrange. Send it behind the text, and then you can play with the transparency you need. This will change the picture behind according to your needs. You can also apply transparency to text by selecting the text and going to transparency. Another very interesting thing that you should know is that you can add links to photos and text. For this, you can select your text, click on the anchor link, paste the URL that you want to send users to, and click apply. If you want to play with the way your text shows, you can adjust the distance between your letters. For this, you select the text and click on spacing. Moving on to illustrations, you must know that you can choose the exact colors of the illustration to make it match your requirements. For this, you just go to the upper left corner and choose some exact colors.
Another very useful thing for Canva.com is knowing that you can use and set your own brand colors. By going to your brand, free users are only allowed to choose brand colors, but you can choose from a variety of colors and more than just one. And you will later be able to use these colors by default without having to look for them again. If you pay for Canva.com, you can also set your own logo, font, and even upload your own fonts. If you are having a hard time finding the perfect font combination, Canva.com offers a website for font combination inspiration. You can select a starter font, and Canva will automatically suggest other fonts that you can pair it with. Lastly, you can train yourself on Canva.com to become an expert. I will list all of the links below just to make it easier for you to access. Have a nice day!